asking if parents should stop complaining about the cost of childcare. Do give us a call on 0207 862 and we'll speak to you in just a moment. Now, Rick wrote an article on Sunday which appeared to criticise parents for moaning about the cost of nurseries, kindergartens and after school clubs. And while Rick accepts that it's expensive to raise a brood, he says that the government is contributing more than ever and that the cause in the, that's cause to celebrate. Is that a fair analysis of what you put in the article, Rick? Yeah, completely. So the cost of childcare is fundamentally changing on a scale that has not happened before. Childcare from this year, from September just gone, and then next year in September 25, you're gonna get 15 hours free for under threes, and from mm. next year you're gonna get 30 hours free. So what does that mean in the big picture? That means that it's an average of three and a half thousand pounds cheaper a year mm -hmm. now, and 7,000 pounds on average from next year. This is changing the whole makeup of how we see childcare. From a parent-based perspective, where the parents go out and pay most of the childcare costs for under threes, as it has been for years, it has been with my firstborn, mm -hmm. but it won't be with my second, mm -hmm. um, to a system where 80%, just take that figure in for a second, 80% of childcare costs are going to be paid for by the state by next September. This is enormous and it changes the whole way we think about childcare. And I think in the future, we may be thinking less about cost, but actually what is that doing to our social makeup where most of our children are out of the home from age nine months mm -hmm. to being at a childminder. Okay. So what's that doing to us? And that actually maybe we're forced to get back to work just financially rather than maybe spending more time at home with children. Correct. All right, interesting. Now, I'm going to come to the panel in a minute. I'm sure they're chomping at the bit to get involved. But let's just take a look at the typical cost of childcare in the country and what parents are entitled to. So, on average, it costs around £16,000 per year to send a child to full-time nursery. That's compared to £3,000 in France and around £5,000 in Denmark. However, British parents can get help from the government. Now, in England, working parents are entitled to 15 free hours of free childcare per week, as Rick has said, um, in their, in, if their child is nine months and more. Now, that's a saving, again, as Rick says, £3,500 per year, which is not a small amount. In the rest of the UK, things look just a little bit different probably a bit better actually in scotland and wales parents can claim up to 30 free hours a week if their child is aged three or four not uh, no comparable scheme though exists in northern ireland unfortunately so kevin with all of those things uh, considered have parents actually got a right to moan yeah those who are still going to be paying big bills because you may not be able to get a place there is a big issue around how much the, yes. the child minors nurseries are paid. It's a very, very small amount. So if they're all full up, you can't, you can't exercise your right and you've still got to pay on top. And I'm sure you have to go, you'll have to avoid some areas, I would have thought, of the country because there'll be mums and dads after you. But things are getting better. And I think it's, I think it's important to acknowledge that, actually, that uh, everything doesn't stay the same or everything in life doesn't but, get worse. Yeah. But, but it, you're not quite there yet now it's a question of spending isn't it mm. and resources and what do you devote them to because in france and denmark at those rates they must be very heavily know, subsidized but, Ke but kevin that, that that is just to be fair to france and denmark that's what the story is now where they are at those stages and they pay those rates we are going to be moving from one of the bottom countries of developed nations to one of the top with these changes by september 25 and and yes there are enormous problems you're completely right on the fact that it's hard to get your kid in some places in the country because there are not enough childminders mm. but the surprise uh, and, and bridget phillipson the education secretary has actually talked about this how much of a challenge it's going to be next year for the 30 hours but actually there's not been a major problem this september it's happened relatively soon but it becomes like dentistry in that the, yeah. One of the reasons there's a big problem with NHS dentistry is they're offered so much for doing your checkup, your fillings, and your extractions. And it's the, it's the yeah. same with childcare. What do you think, Carol? 
Oh, I, and I agree with Rick. I think it's incredible. We, you know, we do have the UK has the highest childcare costs in the developed world. They're too high in this mm -hmm. country generally. But I mean, I think you know, you mentioned Scotland there. You said it's better off. It's not really because that only applies to three, three and four, four year olds. Yeah. yeah. So they're nowhere near it. And Northern Ireland has no free no. nursery hours at all. So th these things are. In fact, I think the Tories rather shot Labour's fox with this by introducing this policy mm -hmm. last year. And Hunt's idea was because he wanted people to get back to work. He wanted parents to get yeah. back to work. So he was going to enable them to do that by doing this, and I think it's—I I mean, I think it's fantastic to get but if you look at the savings, hours a week free, and on average that's saving uh, three thousand five hundred pounds for the average parent in England. But that's all you would be paying if but, you were in France. In fact, that's well, more yeah, you, than you, you would be paying. You can't so you're saving. The, the full amount yeah, of that's, your that's not the government's costs. fault. The government doesn't necessarily set nursery costs and all the rest of it. So you know, and it isn't. You know, the, the bottom line is, if you have, it's not the state's job to take care of your kids, but they are. In, with this this new policy, they are, and by next year it's going to be, ne as, as Rick yeah. says, nearly seven grand a year T off yeah. nursery costs. It which, well, I mean, well, it isn't. You don't have kids and then expect the state. It, no, but it, t it takes a village to raise a child, as the, is the oh, old saying. And that, but it's true. It takes a that's why. To that's why. That's why you have schools, for instance, and public health. It takes a family. And, the, and they're also, and if you if you get parents back to work earlier, they will earn and they will pay tax on the economy you know, as a whole. A no good idea. To make childcare tax deductible, because then the rich don't get it free, and, and they, in fact, they might not get anything, the rich, whereas the, the, you know, the, the middle and the low will get huge help. Maybe the low should pay nothing at all. But I, I think tax deductible would work mm. in that sense. So, so that means people who are on 100 grand, well, 100 grand, 90 grand a year aren't going to get free child. No, I think parents that don't, they, yeah. they earn over 100 grand a year. Yeah. That's why yeah. I, I stopped So, so I that's already in place, I suppose. Uh, Kerry from Bridge End, what's your view when it comes to childcare costs? Do we moan about nothing? I know, it's quite funny. I've been childminded for the last 20 years now, and I love my profession. I brought two children up on here as well. Um, basically, where we are in Bridgend is, is an excellent county. We have lots of grants available as well, so we are recognised as a good profession. Mm -hmm. Just to clarify the point, people who are on £100,000 a year can get childcare costs free with a new three-year-old funding and the child tax free scheme they get taxed before it comes out for their wages. And to be honest with you, childcare these days, we're on between 5 15 and £6 per hour per child. And obviously, you wouldn't get out of bed for £6 an hour. No. But we work for £6 an hour, and then everybody moans all the time about how unaffordable it is. Kerry, it's, a, it's, an interesting, with... it's interesting they bring in the Euro Child Minder, because I had a little look at the stats this morning, and actually the cost of... Uh, childcare in nurseries and preschool and all the other areas have gone up but weirdly childminder seems to have come down and I don't know why that is but yes childminder seem to be being paid less than they were a couple of years ago and so what's your view when you hear parents complaining about the cost of childcare? Um, basically I can understand how much it costs to be able to put your child into childcare because it's like £65 a day We're in Wales, and that's probably the average around here. But unfortunately, um, it is a necessity cost of, of the cost of living, mm. because parents these days want it all. We know we've been there. I've got two children as well. They're grown up now, and they've grown up with children in the house. So, you know, I want to say thank you to them as well. And we are lucky in the area we live in, because there's a massive child work and a child minding network. Yeah. So there's no shortage of them. Which is fantastic. Um, but it doesn't. Yes, it doesn't. Essential child mind as well. And, and, and it is so essential. But it, but Kerry, it doesn't. It, and thank you very much for your call. And also bringing in the element of child minders. But it doesn't negate the fact that the average parent is paying a quarter of the household income. So that's both incomes together on child care, Rick. And we yeah, expect well, parents that, to get back into the workplace and, and, and again, have a growing economy. Gosh, I know how difficult it is. I've had two kids under four in child care, and it's cost me over twenty thousand pounds a year. So uh, I, I, I know how yep. expensive and I understand those stats and how difficult it has been for many kids now, but things, they are changing. But I would say just to, to Kerry's point there, she, she was a childminder. There is an enormous problem about some parents not taking up working parents, by the way, the help that is on offer. And some people will argue that that help should not come to working parents because they don't need it, but actually they do. The tax-free childcare mm. scheme that she was just talking about there, mm -hmm is available to up to anyone who earns up to £100,000. However, this is shocking 
the take up of tax free childcare, so £2,000 free per child, mm -hmm. 1.2 million families in the UK it is available to. The take up is just over half a million. Because oh. they don't know about it? Because they don't it's... know about it. Okay, well, hopefully, if you're watching this, oh, you'll yeah. be taking That's it up. Really... Amuda from London, do you think childcare costs are too high? I do. Um, I, I'm a grandmother myself, and um, I. I live in London and two of my neighbours, uh, one pays 1,400 um, a month and another one, she, she said, well, that's cheap because she pays 1,700 a mm -hmm. month. I mean, that, that, that's ridiculous on, on top of your salary. I mean, out of your salary with your mortgage costs and everything else. And I think the people that are talking on the TV are just out of touch, really, with the reality of what it's like for working parents. I mean, there's so many grandparents now out there I see daily with their with um, their grandchildren, you know. Um, it's, and it's I think, Amuda, if we were... I have a went... daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. sorry, I have a daughter-in-law who has two children under five. She hasn't gone back to work because of the cost Can't of childcare. I know, it's, and I, the other just... problem is we've got family breakdown, don't we? So we don't live as close to our parents anymore, so we don't have that grandparent support, which just compounds the issue. But I don't think... To be it, fair, I, I, agree that out that, of I agree with you everything, everything you're parent. saying. It's, it's a, okay. it, costs, it costs a fortune. But this system is gradually going to bring that cost down yeah. enormously. So we should look at the positive side of things. OK, we've almost come to an end, but I cannot finish without giving Carol a birthday present. Hey. We vaguely oh. mentioned hey, 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 it. Hey, hey. Present too. You get a present. Wow. We vaguely mentioned it. You've got a big birthday on oh. Monday. Have you got anything on special Monday? planned? Yes, we're going. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're sweet. I hope you don't suffer hay thing. fever. <laughs> oh, lovely. That's good. Cool. Just, thank you. Yeah, it actually goes with what you're wearing. Not that I we can. planned that at all. I, oh, so, smell are you? Have you got anything special planned? Yes, wait, so wait, yeah, we'll get, my husband's taking me um, to Seville. Oh, how oh, lovely! Yes, which is rather nice, and he bought me a lovely ring to celebrate as well. So, because oh. I am very old, he probably he's probably banking on the fact I won't be alive much longer, and he can oh, orchid oh, at some oh, point. No. <laughs> Happy birthday! So Many years you know ahead. It is a good, I can't ahead. believe I'm the age I am, uh, and I can't believe that I'm still here. But it's very good. Mm. And we're delighted that you yeah. are still here. Thank I'm, you. I'm what was it like watching Stonehenge being <laughs> built? <laughs>